Oh no, the extra five fanboys ain't gonna like this video very much. And I'll tell you what, you ain't gonna get this type of video from Nero. Nero, you're not gonna get the truth from Play Truth or Nero. Nero, Nero, I'm your cinema guys. I'm so excited about the new extra five season one on Blame Truth. This is the greatest video game since Black Ops 3. Bullshit that these people are trying to peddle because you're not going to hear the truth of them. You know why? Because they don't want to upset you ex defiant fanboys because they're fucking dorks just like you. Not me. Alpha male, elite game and stud muffin athlete dropping his nuts all on your goddamn chins. I don't care if you want it or you don't want it. You're getting a deep dick style. Balls deep. Halfway in. Here comes the facts. Here's why ex defiant is going to fail. Why it is failing. Why the net code sucks. Why the hit detection sucks. And the real truth as to why there is no kill cam. Mark Rube accidentally spilt the beans he made a mistake he talked too much because he's on twitter all the time trying to defend this piece of shit game like some goddamn nerd like the rest of you ex defiant nerds who get your little panties in a twist because you can't deal with the fact that an alpha male stud muffin like me that would want to come over to your house while your dad's not home and show your mom what a real deep dick style's like because she ain't been fucked properly since high school when doctor's respect was DMing her in the whispers on twitch now before i go any further as well listen stop being a loser if you hate me i'm telling you us because you're a loser and can't handle how awesome I am. If you are a winner and you haven't done so already, be a congratulator, not a hater. Subscribe. Now let me explain to you actually why this game is doomed and it actually is not a opinion, but it is a fact. X Divine is in deep shit and I know all you X Divine fanboys are getting your little panties in a bunch of little anime jerking ass pillow having nerd. Shut the fuck up and listen because it's a fact, all right? These idiots at Ubisoft San Francisco, that's all you gotta say, San Francisco, a bunch of blue haired DEI hired SGW far left communist type people who don't put any white males in the whole entire damn game. We put a bunch of black people, nothing wrong with black people, I'm saying, but like it's obvious that they're just pandering and trying to be socially conscious and woke and all that nonsense when the 99% of people making the game are a bunch of honky crackers, you know what I'm saying? But the real truth of the matter of the fact is these people at Ubisoft, regardless of their genders or how many put ons they got, they have absolutely made the dumbest mistake, have made really dumb toy choices when it comes to the actual world net code of this game. And as obvious, everyone knows, unless you're some super brain dead fan, but with cognitive bias, knows the truth. The net code sucks. And fixing that, my friends, is one of the most difficult difficult task. And if the net code and the actual real base of the game, which Mark Pixels already has mentioned on Twitter, is the problem, there is no saving this game. You're not going to fix that. And there's reasons why as well, why there is no kill cam, my friends. And this is why. All right. The game, X Defiant, is not a first-person shooter engine. Let me, let me repeat that, okay? They have not using a first-person shooter engine. They are using an MMO engine, which makes no sense. Like, you have Rainbow Six Siege at your disposal. It's a first-person shooter. Maybe you should use that engine. No. We're going to use an MMO engine that was used for games like Avatar and then try to rebuild it into a first person shooter engine with a ridiculous, probably mentally challenged millennial Gen Z development team in Ubisoft San Francisco who hates alpha males and probably thinks Joe Biden is not cognitively in decline and is a real strong six handicap golfer that could beat Trump. But this is from MP First, just to you know show you that what I'm saying is the facts, Jack, and this is what's going down. So the title is, the game is not being rushed, but the game was not meant to be a first person shooter and the infrastructure infrastructure has to be built from the ground up. So the long story short is this, the game came out in May. Everyone's like, hell yeah, woo. And then season one drops and there's all kinds of technical issues and the frames were horrible for PlayStation 5. But anybody who's not brain damaged and completely the biggest fanboy beta mill in the world knew that that patch in season one was pretty fucking shitty, all right? So there's still problems that have yet to be resolved. And there's important features and all kinds of things that the first person shooter in the world has but x defines like we don't have that we don't have a kill cam you can't pin targets you can't do a whole lot of things the net code no one here can argue that and a net code hit detection is horrible you know what i'm gonna tell you right for the gate why there is no kill cam i'm gonna jump ahead a little bit and then we'll come back there is no kill cam because it would be too obvious first of all there's no kill cam because they're using an mmo engine and it requires so much effort and time to rebuild the whole first person shooter engine into an MMO engine and try to make the game work, which makes no sense. Why would you do that? Why you like, what are you doing? Just but there's no, there's nothing to be gained by doing that, except for the fact that Ubisoft didn't want to give them a first person engine or didn't have the money or didn't have the time or didn't think you, this game would actually be good enough that they would want to do this. It makes no sense. Nonetheless, there's no kill cam. 
because first it would show how bad the net code and hit detection really is because you'd be able to see that you're like 30 feet behind a wall or the guy wasn't even aiming at you plus it requires too much effort and time to actually make a kill cab into a video game considering that they're using an mmo engine like morons all right that's why it's no kill cam and even mark pixel mark rubin himself has said yes this is an MMO engine. And his quote is this. I'll read his quote to someone who said this game feels like it was rushed. And he'll say, rushed out? No. What we have is an engine that has never ever been used in a first person shooter and has only been used in an MMO. And so all the infrastructure for an FPS has to be built up from the ground floor. Smart decision there, Mark. Even COD started on ID Tech, which was a shooter game. Apex Legends started on a shooter game. That's because when you're starting on a shooter game, Mark, most people who have had far more successful games than you have said like, hey man, maybe we should just use it on a first person shooter engine. No, let's be fucking super different. Damn, you're from Ubisoft, I'm Mark Pixel. Let's make it on a Monopoly board game Dear. that being said the engine is really great but it does require a lot of work oh yeah it's great i like you know i like making more work for my developers and making the hit code net code and the whole act detection and the actual game infrastructure itself shit and i, I like to make i like to build i'm like sisyphus i'm like i like to push a rock up a hill for my entire life to only have it roll back down and once i get to the top because you know what life is paid we're not a shooter that's been out for 20 years. If you like what we're trying to do, stick around and you'll see things improve and new features get added. But if the game isn't for you, that's okay. You can move on. Well, Mark, I hate to break it to you, but people are moving on. You know, no one's sticking around, buddy. Well, a game is, as far as you all want to say, I don't care what numbers you want to tell me, you fucking extra fine dweeb ass nerd fanboys. I don't care what you want to try to tell me to use with your copium to not deal with the fact that this game is overhyped. And you may, you know, listen, listen, I'm going to say this. I'm going to give you a little olive branch. That means a little peace offering for all you beta male dweebs out there all right you extra fine fanboys i'm gonna give you this okay if you like the game i don't give a shit good for you i don't care i'm not trying to tell you not to like the game you dorks okay go play this game all you want i don't care if you spend fifteen thousand dollars and rob some granny at a casino to get more money to buy more code points or whatever the hell the freaking extra fine points are to buy more stupid microtransactions they look like they were made by a five-year-old on ms paint that's cool that's your prerogative man you know what make sure you use uh cod creator code or whatever the hell shill shit blame truth is selling now being a ubisoft paid out shill use his creator code and you know may hopefully make the guy a few bucks so we can you know buy some more dog food for shelter dogs which is cool I'm not even trying to slight that that's a good thing he's doing nonetheless the guy's still a dork go buy his led retard helmet for fourteen hundred dollars to get your hair growth back even though most of his audience is 25 years and younger and aren't even using any don't even have hair loss but the game and the numbers are not good okay for a free-to-play first-person shooter that was supposed to be a god killer i understand it's business to be pumping up for call of duty youtubers who hate call of duty to be jumping on the x defiant bandwagon and taking all their dumb fans with them listen man the point is, is that the X Defiant game itself is built on an engine that was not made for a first person shooter. And they're telling you, if you don't like it, move on. Well, that's a really bad thing I was trying to say because people are moving on. People are not playing the game. And like I guess I don't care what kind of stats or numbers you try to throw at me from the past. If you just go look at most played games on console, which is easy to do, it won't give you the exact numbers, but it shows you what the most popular games are on said consoles, whether it be Sony or Xbox. And first of all, it went from three down to seven, down to 10, then season one drops and went back up to four and five and three. And then season one is a bust and people really realize the content we're beginning is not that great. And it's already dropping back off the map again. That is my point. If you look on Twitch and how big the numbers were streaming before because people were being paid and advertised and it was a new game. So if people are like, hey, might as well stream the new game. It's, you know, in the search engine algorithms and people want to see it. That's why they were playing it on Twitch. But they realized that's not really actually getting them any views anymore, making them any money. So they've moved on. And the Twitch numbers as well for X Defiant being streamed is like down to five or 6,000. That's all I'm saying. The numbers are down. So Mark Rubin better mind his P's and Q's, what I'm trying to say, and be a little bit more humble, a little less huber, a little less huber, a little more hubris, a less hubris. Little less, you know what I'm saying, trying to think like he's got some kind of big game here that's going to go on. No, motherfucker. It's going to be canceled, and it'll be just like pushed on the back burners, or it'll become irrelevant like Splitgate. Dude. That was supposed to be the Halo killer. It was, it was a fun game. In fact, Splitgate's way better than this game, and where's that game now? No idea. Splitgate 2's coming out, but it's being done by like an independent studio. This is Ubisoft. They ain't going to mess around with this. They're just going to fire him, get rid of him, and it's going to happen. Because the game is built on an MMO engine, which is like impossible to fix. I mean, ain't got time to sit around and wait how many years for you guys to fix the first person shooter major most important functions of a game. Hit code, hit detection, net code. Give me a break. Anyways, that's the video. Have a good one. Thanks for watching.